Castos, 2010. What we can see now from Google is Mitica and Calamos. And here we are leaving Mitica on the ferry boat, going towards Castos, the island in the Ionian Sea that we all love so much. We're passing Calamos, we can see the trees and some of the campers along the way, which we always admire so much, the boats. Finally, we look again from the top across Calamos and Mitica from a greater distance, and we're getting closer towards our island. Receding in the distance, Mitika. Coming around the corner again from Google, we can see the three islands on the top left-hand corner. We can see Ka we can see Castos. Castos is there in front of Calamos, the long narrow island. Here it is, in all its glory. As we go along around the coast, we're going past Aguio Emilios. You'll see the church on the hill just now in the distance. We come around the corner and we see some of Kiki's land. Here we are, a little bit further around the corner. We'll see the land that belongs to Lazarus. Here we see the point, the little island that goes out in front of it. The trees going up behind it into the hill, covered in olive trees as we know. You can see my elderly arm in the corner holding onto my hat as we approach the Hora, the township of Castos. From a distance, looking up from the top of the hill, we look down to the town. Now this is the house of Peter the African house. The dog sitting in front, next door's coolest house, looking up the hill towards the upper village. The view from in front of the house, along the Prokime, along the wharf, we can see the boats coming in every other day from Lefkada some ferry boats, we can see the restaurant. From the top of the hill we're going on a walk to the Sarakiniko and we're looking down and zooming in on the village. You can see the restaurant, you can see the red ferry boat. Again we're looking down towards Ambalakia. You can see the new houses being built down there where we go swimming in the morning every day with Taylor. And you can see the land that belongs to Kiki with the trees. We're walking, doing our afternoon walk down to Sarakiniko with the dog. You can see the boats that are moored there, left car there in the far distance on the other side of the island. And around the corner, if we keep going, we find Calamos again. Beautiful view. Here we are walking and up towards us is Dr. Peter, Australian, New Zealand Peter, coming up the road on his afternoon run. We've stopped to wait for him to have a chat, as we do every afternoon. Here he comes, slowly walking up the hill, looking down again towards Sarakiniko, some boats in the distance. There's some fishing boats on the wharf, a couple of yachts, little island, across to Kalimos, some men fishing off the other side of the wharf, going back again up the hill and coming down the other side again to the village of Castos. A little bit of a zoom in to see the boats that are there. Some bigger ones coming in in the afternoon. You can see the restaurant down there where we eat most evenings. We're starting the dog getting up from his afternoon sleep. No, I'm afraid it might be the morning coming out for the morning walk. Let's have a look and see. There's Peter and Janice's house next door. And of course the large pine tree, which is what is the focal point as you come into Castor's outside Peter's house. There's the sun coming up. About 7, 10 to 7 in the morning, the sun is rising in the east and I'm watching it. I've put the camera on the wall to keep it a little bit steady or not so steady, zooming in to see the sun rising. Quite impressive as it comes up every morning over the hills in the distance across the other side of the bay behind the mainland. This is Janice's 70th birthday and I've made some bread in her honour as I've learnt to make bread this summer thanks to Peter, African Peter's recipe. And now we're going to visit Janice with our little gift, some jam made from our apricots from Vula 
and the bread. Here we are, wishing Janice a happy birthday. Yeah, yeah. 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 the thing is, you have to not yeah. cut his thesis, yes. the group say. What did they say? To live to be a hundred, I don't know. To live to be over a hundred, yes. Uh, the afternoon, now we can see all the yachts coming in and the people swimming in the water. Generally Dutch, English, variety of Europeans coming in on the, on the flotilla from Lefkada. Now on another walk along towards Vali, to the left of the village, not over the back. We're looking back towards the village. Vali is a very popular beach for the locals. There's very nice stone steps you can see coming down from the top village. Walking along the road that goes down to the end of the island, you can see Christos, Yanni's brother, walking in front. The little island out here where Yanis goes to look for fish. They're walking along to do some measuring uh, of Kiki's land, I think. And you can see the pine trees and the olive trees uh, all along the way. Little island out there, a few boats anchored around all the way along the coast. Very nice afternoon walk. You can walk five, six kilometers if you've got the energy. Peter Janutsos, Dr. Peter does it most days at a run. The rest of us stroll along. You can see one of the boats sitting in here. Looking back towards the village again. Now there's Katerina, Kiki and I going for a walk. Again, I think there's a possibility of Titika and Petros having their boat out there and we were meeting them there. Coming back to the village again in the evening, more and more boats anchored in, the restaurants, the lights starting to light up, the restaurants starting to fill up. And here we are the Three next day at lunchtime. I haven't bought the wine. Bring the wine, Yanni, so we can enjoy the fish. Taylor's waiting here for his share of the fish. Where is he? Taylor. Smile for the camera. Katerina, the, the fish cooker. Katerina. Huh? Katrin. Kiki. The reason why we're here. With that. And the fisherman. With the wine. Okay. There we are. A little bit closer, the, the couple to one another, so we could get a good photograph. Okay, so we can get a photograph of the two brothers. I'll go a little bit further back. Maybe we can get a good photo of everybody. Okay, that's enough. Good photo. Oh, I can see Katerina, Kiki, and the dog. And finally, celebration. The village event uh, of uh, music and dance, imported band to play to us. Here's me dancing with President Petros. Now, one of the first dancers with some of the kids standing up before everybody else gets warmed up. And in the second dance, you'll see real dancers such as Kiki, I think. Wait a moment, here they come. Kiki, Yorgos, and Yanis. Uh, dancing. Kiki is a champion dancer. Yorgos is good at some dances, not so good at the sit down. And Jan is following. Okay, this was the celebration. The clarinet playing in the background rather loudly. final event before we go, the day before we leave. And there we are leaving. Early in the morning the boat leaves at before seven o'clock, six o'clock. Early in the morning, pretty dark, on our way out, going past again, Kiki's land on the way out. No waves, very calm, very beautiful in the morning. Sad to be leaving, one more year gone. Next year, perhaps. All being well. That's Castos, 2010.